हेलो फ्रेंड्स ऑफन इन मेडिकल स्कूल्स फिजियोलॉजी एज अ सब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड एज द प्री क्लिनिकल सब्जेक्ट एंड आई स्टिल रिमेंबर माय फ्रेंड फ्रॉम द क्लिनिकल साइड दे वुड आल्सो समटाइम्स टीज मी एज एंटी क्लिनिकल मे बी नॉट एज ए एन टी आई बट मे बी एज ए एन टी ई समथिंग लाइक दैट एनी वेज बट आई स्टिल रिमेंबर आफ्टर माई ग्रेजुएशन वेन आई स्टार्टेड द क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस दैट वॉज लॉन्ग बैक my understanding of physiology helped me in certain cases and one such uh, case or example i am going to narrate here we will understand the ans pharmacology in brief uh, the case used to be of excessive sweating excessive sweating is also called as hyperhidrosis now this excessive sweating of the palms feet and these patients uh, would have taken lots of treatments and then uh, when they came to me i would give them anticholinergics and they would often work and the sweating would stop the patient would get the relief what was the basis of this let's try to understand the basis behind the treatment of that hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating by anticholinergic drugs let's have a brief understanding of the ans neurotransmission now look uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic are the two branches of ans that's a well known fact and uh, sympathetic is often called as thoraco lumbar outflow because mainly they are arising from the thoracic and lumbar segments of the spinal cord and uh, parasympathetic is called as cranio sacral outflow because cranial nerves some of them are parasympathetic in function and sacral segments they give rise to parasympathetic nerves uh, look at the arrangement of the nerves and uh, before we look at the arrangement i'll just tell you one quick thing and that is about the ganglion look ganglion is where nerve cell bodies are located that's right but more important to understand is ganglion is considered as a relay station for the two nerves one nerve will end there and the next nerve will start from there the nerve cell body for the next nerve is located within the ganglion so relay you must have seen the relay events where one athlete uh, passes on the baton to the next athlete and then the next athlete uh, goes further somewhat similar happens here uh, that the impulse starts from the preganglionic nerve preganglionic nerve has a nerve cell body in the spinal cord itself so look at the difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves sympathetic preganglionic nerve starts from the spinal cord uh, the nerve cell body is in the intermedio lateral horn so the nerve starts from there comes out and just outside the vertebral column there is this ganglion so preganglionic nerve ends there and the impulse will be now taken further by the postganglionic nerve so impulse will be passed on from the preganglionic to postganglionic nerve the other thing that you should understand is that the postganglionic nerve can be considered as the effector nerve in the sense that postganglionic nerve is the nerve that is finally ending on the organ and it is going to release the neurotransmitter and that neurotransmitter will exert the effect of that nerve all right so effector nerve which actually exerts the effect uh, of that particular system is the postganglionic nerve actually ending on the organ or the viscera all right look at the difference also between sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves in the case of sympathetic nerve preganglionic nerve came out and ganglion is just located outside the vertebral column and therefore preganglionic nerve is short and it just ends there in the ganglion and the nerve cell body for the postganglionic nerve is located in the ganglion so that will be uh, excited by the neurotransmitter released by the preganglionic nerve the preganglionic nerve fiber will release the neurotransmitter which will uh, excite the postganglionic nerve and the impulse will be then sent to the organ via the postganglionic nerve so sympathetic nerve preganglionic nerve is short but postganglionic nerve is long in the case of parasympathetic nerve it is the other way around uh, preganglionic nerve is long because ganglion is located not outside the vertebral column 
but just outside the organ. Sometimes the ganglion is located in the wall of the organ itself. And therefore, preganglionic nerve, in the case of parasympathetic, starts from the spinal cord and runs all the way to the organ and it ends near the organ in the ganglion. And then the postganglionic nerve starts from there and just it's a very short nerve and it will innervate the organ. Again, uh, same thing, postganglionic nerve is the nerve that is the effector nerve. The effect of that system will be uh, exerted, elicited, exhibited by the postganglionic nerve because postganglionic nerve will release a neurotransmitter that will uh, have the effect on the organ. Now coming to the neurotransmitters and neurotransmission in this uh, ANS. Okay, the ganglionic transmission is said to be cholinergic transmission. The ganglionic transmission is cholinergic because the preganglionic nerves, they release acetylcholine at their nerve endings. So look at the diagram, preganglionic nerve ending in the ganglion and is going to pass on the impulse or excite the postganglionic nerve or uh, nerve cell body. It will be by the release of acetylcholine. This is a synapse and therefore neurotransmitter will be released. It is acetylcholine. Ditto with the case of parasympathetic nerve. Preganglionic nerve will reach the ganglion and will release acetylcholine. Uh, which will excite the postganglionic nerve cell body. Okay, so ganglionic transmission is cholinergic, and uh, or in other words, preganglionic nerves, whether sympathetic or parasympathetic, they both will release uh, acetylcholine on the postganglionic nerve cell bodies. All right, uh, just to add little more uh, depth, the receptors on the postganglionic nerve cell bodies are nicotinic receptors. You know acetylcholine has uh, two types of receptors, nicotinic and muscarinic. So here there are nicotinic receptors and it's a nicotinic transmission at the ganglia. Okay, autonomic ganglia, they have nicotinic receptors and it's a cholinergic transmission. Now coming to the postganglionic nerves which are, which are actually uh, in a way more important because they are the effector nerves, more important in terms of understanding. Parasympathetic nerve, even the postganglionic nerve also releases acetylcholine. Okay, so parasympathetic postganglionic nerve is also cholinergic nerve. That means acetylcholine is the effector neurotransmitter in the case of parasympathetic system. Parasympathetic system releases acetylcholine as its effector neurotransmitter on the organs. Okay, effect of parasympathetic system is exerted by the acetylcholine. In the case of sympathetic system, postganglionic sympathetic nerve is adrenergic nerve. Adrenergic nerve would mean that its neurotransmitter is not adrenaline actually, it is noradrenaline because uh, you know uh, the catecholamines are synthesized in the same uh, pathway, same synthetic pathway. Uh, last step, the conversion of noradrenaline to adrenaline requires an enzyme which is not, which is not much present in these nerve endings and therefore uh, adrenaline does not form, it is the noradrenaline. However, the nerve is still called adrenergic nerve, okay. We don't call it noradrenergic nerve. Anyways, these are adrenergic nerves, which ones? The postganglionic sympathetic nerves, which means the effector nerve in the case of sympathetic system, it releases noradrenaline on the, uh, on the organs. Noradrenaline uh, is the effector neurotransmitter in the case of sympathetic system. The effects of sympathetic stimulation or uh, effect of sympathetic uh, nerves, those effects are elicited by noradrenaline because that is the final, final transmitter 
which is being released at the nerve endings on the organs. All right. So finally, just in a quick summary, sympathetic system exerts its effect via the noradrenaline as the neurotransmitter. Parasympathetic system exerts its effect via acetylcholine released on the organs and viscera. But uh, the relay of impulse transmission occurring at the ganglia, whether it is sympathetic or parasympathetic, that relay occurs because of the acetylcholine. Okay. This was the ANS pharmacology. Now, leaves us, uh, now that leaves us to the last point. There are some sympathetic nerves which do not release noradrenaline and those sympathetic nerves are called as sympathetic cholinergic nerves. Well, that would add to the confusion, but let us be clear, sympathetic nerves finally generally release noradrenaline, they are adrenergic nerves at most places, but there is an exception. And the exception is sweat glands. Exception is sweat glands. Remember, I told you the case of excessive sweating, hyperhidrosis. So, remember this, that there are certain sympathetic cholinergic fibers also. Some fibers, which are postganglionic sympathetic, they don't release noradrenaline, but they release acetylcholine. What are those places where these fibers exist? As I told you, uh, the example here is the sweat glands. So, remember sweat glands are innervated by sympathetic nerve endings, but those sympathetic nerve endings are not releasing noradrenaline, they are releasing acetylcholine. Many of the uh, practicing physicians were not aware of this physiologic basis. They would think, okay, it's a sympathetic innervation, so they would give some sympathetic blocking drugs which would block the catecholamines, which would block the action of noradrenaline and adrenaline. But no, these nerves going to the sweat glands are sympathetic cholinergic nerves and therefore their effects can be blocked. I mean, if, if the sympathetic stimulation happens, there would be excessive sweating, sweating over the forehead, sweating of the palms, but that is caused by sympathetic cholinergic nerves reaching the sweat glands, innervating the sweat glands. And if you give anticholinergic drugs, uh, atropine-like drugs, then you can stop or block that effect, at least temporarily, as long as the drug acts. So, uh, that was uh, the uh, use of physiology and deep and detailed understanding of physiology in clinical practice.